Hello. I'm so nervous. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Save you time. I need to not be nervous. I need to be me. Uh, I'm gonna show off a little promo video first, and then we'll get into uh model stuff. Try and figure out how to use Twitch again. Uh... Wait, what happened to my background? Where's my background gone? They already scuff, I swear. On though. Fine. Might be without background. <laughs> fine, it's fine, it'll work. Okay, 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 let's go. Oh, we're fine, okay, okay. We're gonna show inter video first. Play. Okay, okay. It was amazing. <laughs> that video was made by uh, Klez. Uh, they did an amazing job and yeah, I just really like it. That's gonna be my main, like, just, like, I don't know, promo video. <laughs> you'll, be f you'll be there forever. Okay, it's time to move on to showing off my model. You see feetsies. My feetsies. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, actually I'm not gonna say anything, but you might notice something about my model being different than the rest. Uh, yeah. So... My feetsy. My leggies. I'll be moving up quite quickly, because my, <laughs> my lower section is kind of like just the shoes and then leggings, whatever. <laughs> That's it. Boop. And we have my knees. Really nice little skirt. So flowy and cute. Yes, if you haven't noticed, I am 3D. Right. And move up a little more. We stay a little more. What do we see? A little baggy, perhaps? A little further. <laughs> My hand tracking. <laughs> That's fine. My fancy fancy skirt and my little baggy. I'll show off my baggy a bit more in a, in a second. Go up a little more. We have something, and also my hand. Hello. I was about- <laughs> We're not gonna mention what hand gesture I was about to make, but that's fine. <laughs> so, let me get a closer look here. If I can get my hand out of the way. I have a little baggie. It's like a chest. And this is actually a, a bag that I have in real life because I made it. So yeah, I, li I like I like putting references like that because I like having stuff related to me. Okay, back to the front. Going we'll up a bit more. I have a beautiful blouse. More hands. But oh, it's so scuffed. <laughs> Mmm, I love it. Okay. 
My neck is broken as fuck. I need to fix that in a second. <laughs> the one thing always with 3D, it's not great. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm very, like, Victorian inspired. Yeah. I have a little dangle on my head. Welcome, everyone. It is me, me, Hamtar. I'm sorry. I'm so awkward. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't plan to be this awkward, but I don't. I'm not used to this, because. To be honest, I've been using this model for like work meetings, so to me, I've seen this like a hundred times already. <laughs> and here I am, just like, ooh, new stuff. <laughs> anyway, look at look at this cute. It's one part I always love about my model. My glasses stay on by magic. Because I'm 3D, I actually um, have some details in the back that I made sure that were there. Because otherwise, well, what's the point of being 3D if you can't have extra detail? So the back of my hair is like, boop, 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 boop. like this. I have little sunflowers in the back of my hair. Uh, this hairstyle is inspired by a Gibson tuck, which was very popular in the 1920s, I believe. Uh, and I really liked that style. Oh yeah! Um, already 10 minutes. Alright, let me show you a little bit of the other things I have. Not too much. I don't have that much time. Uh, I have... Long hair as well. I'm a little bit. I have long hair. Many of you that have known me before will know uh, I used to only rock long hair. So I decided to put that back in. And I also have my hat. I am a witch. I have a witch hat. Me, me, me. Do a spin? I can do a spin. Spin. Boop, boop, spin. Oh. The magical spin. The one thing. <laughs> Ask a 2D VTuber. Spin for me. They cannot. <laughs> Alright, uh, there's one more thing. If I can find the right button. No. Yeah, I could take my- I could take my cardigan off. Or shawl. Just hang out. Be comfy. But I can also put on shorts. Because I plan on doing, uh, stuff in VR. And skirts are not great for that. <laughs> So I have the hips, I have shorts to make sure that there's not any awkward clipping and stuff happening. Oh so yeah, I have, I, have, I have what I want. It's comfy. Uh, let me back to this. There. Okay. I think that's gonna be it for the model showcase because there's other stuff. Can you believe it? <laughs> there's more. <laughs> Uh, I'll go back to stream apps. Let's see if this works. If not, I'm gonna cry. It should. Uh, probably not gonna load. Oh, it did load right away. Oh my god, I'm so professional. This is my debut slides. Oh my god, my name is now. Kurazu Helianthus. I actually have a surname now. Oh my god. 
have a surname. I am part of Ambergillo Gen 3 Travesia. I actually don't know. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Travesia tra 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 Traverse. Gen 3. Welcome. Um, yeah. Let's get into some basic info now that you've seen me. My name is Pudis Vigilianthus, but you may call me Pudi as a little nickname. If you want Puds, Pudi, that's what I'm commonly referred to. Uh, my surname comes from a, a Greek word. It is the Greek word for sunflower. I thought it was quite fitting considering my new design and everything. Um, my birthday is September 20th. I am a September lady. There are actually a lot of people in Amberglow that have a September birthday. Literally, uh, I think I share a birthday with someone and then there's also Bellini, which is like, I think the 21st. So lots of, <laughs> lots of birthdays in September. Uh, I am 165 centimeters tall. I am not short. Shut up. I am average height. You can't tell me otherwise. Um, in terms of languages, I am originally from the Netherlands, so I do speak Dutch. You are also allowed to speak Dutch in chat. However, I will cringe at you and make fun of you. Because I hate my own language. Thank you. Uh, other than that, obviously, uh, it's going to be majority English. It will probably be just English. Uh, and I also can understand quite a bit of German, because Dutch and German is a very similar language. I'm also not a hamter. Not really. I know I look like one. I just fucked up real bad at a potions class experiment, and not even the teachers know how to turn it back. So I'm stuck like this. I'm fucked. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> On to my likes and dislikes. I swore, yeah, get used to it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I like to draw. Do I have the human ears too? No. My human ears got turned into uh, what I have now. I don't have human ears anymore. They're gone. So if I wear headphones, they're gonna look a little weird. Anyway, I like to draw, if you can't tell. Uh, I drew all of Gen 3 just a little bit ago. And uh, I also really like 3D modeling. Because in fact, I made my own model. This model and design, both made by me, which is why you will not find them in the credits. It's me. I, I am my own mama and papa. Yeah, <laughs> life is good. Uh, anyway, uh, I also really like sewing. I like to sew. Uh, it's something that I picked up quite recently. Uh, it's an interest that stemmed from my love for both Victorian fashion and just in general Victorian Stoff. Uh, I'm really a big fan of that age. I really like the looks of it and the clothing in that era. And I was like, if I'm if I'm I don't want to pay fifty bucks for clothing items, although it is a fair price. So I'm just gonna make it myself. So uh, I also really like skiing. It's one of the things that. I don't think many people would expect from me, because it's kind of a dangerous sport. But yeah, I really like to go fast. And go ski. It's the one sport that I really enjoy. Um, when it comes to my love for history and stuff, obviously I love thrifting. If you can see all around on this panel, uh, this is all stuff that I've thrifted from our local, <laughs> our local secondhand stores. So you can see on the bottom left, my beauty 
my grace. A 1905 singer machine. That is the machine I will be working on if I do any sewing stuff. Uh, I found her for only 35 euros at a local <laughs> secondhand store. And I, did, I didn't want to leave it. It was mine at that point. And can you believe it? It did work. Like, all it needed was an oil. That's all. It needed an oil and that's it. There was nothing wrong with it. I mean, I guess the foot pedal was like missing, like the, the little sewing foot. But like, that's an easy fix. You can just order one. And then there's 35 euros. I can't believe it. She is my beauty, my grace. I love her. Um, I also own some like really, really old books. I have a little English learning book from like 1905. It's really cute because you, like the, the exercises in there are related to like stuff you would only see in that age. Like a little exercise about what would you say when you go to the tailors or when you go to like, like the barber, you know, like typical 1900s stuff that you wouldn't have in a, in a learning book today. And I also have a book from 1890s. Which is just a, uh, it's like a storybook, I guess. It's just a history kind of storybook. So that was pretty cool. It's like, it's like in good condition too. I was really surprised by that. Um, other than that, I really like true crime. True crime is a big, big passion of mine because I don't know. I find it interesting. To find out, you know, how those people think. And I generally just like really mystery stuff. Like finding out, being like, oh, this person did it, the who done it kind of stuff. Yeah. I think that covers all my likes. Uh, for the most part. Yeah, it talks about history. Uh, onto my dislikes. I really dislike loud places. Um,. I, I know I just already mentioned it, but uh, most of my dislikes have to do with the fact that I am autistic. So, lots of stuff related to that. Very antisocial. Uh, very much an introvert rather than an extrovert. So, I don't like loud places. I don't like crowded places. don't like being in that for very long. I have a very typical woman dislike of spiders. Something about them. I mean, I guess the tiny ones are fine, you know? It's it's when they get bigger that it's no bueno. No, no thank you. I, I really dislike uh, deep murky water. It's like that fear of um, whenever you go into the ocean or whatever and you cannot see the ocean floor below you. I really don't like that. I really don't like knowing not knowing what's under me or that kind of stuff. Yeah, as you can tell, <laughs> I have a dislike of drinking water. Um, I can explain. It has to do with water tasting really metallic here. Like, when I go on vacation to, like, Austria or whatever, I actually really like the water there. That water is fine. I don't like the water here. It tastes really metallic and, like, icky. don't like it. I also don't like... Uh, most alcohol. Having a bigger spider crawl over you or having a mini sp spiders crawl over you? Pick one. Smaller spiders. For sure. <laughs> That's it. So the hydrate to dream is punishment? No, it's not, because I just don't drink water. <laughs> I just add some flavoring. Uh, I do also don't like most alcohols. I just really don't like the burning taste of it. It's just kind of icky to me. So I only drink more of the sweeter kind of alcohol that don't have much of the, the burn in them. But yeah. Move on. Uh, this is going to be a thing where I... Oh my god, vigil. Thank you for the subs, my dude. I have the alert sounds... Uh, off for, for this 
because I don't want to have it interrupt every minute. So, but thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Um, I will be just kind of perusing over this list because it's a lot, and I will only mention stuff that I happen to have something to say about. So feel free to just, you know, look at the list, enjoy it, see if we have stuff in common. So, I am a person that grew up with Minecraft. I, I am a Minecraft kid. So I very much enjoy those types of games also because it's, you know, creative. I'm also a big, big Animal Crossing fan. I didn't even, to be honest, I don't even know how I started playing Animal Crossing. It's like, one day it was just there and I've just been playing it. I don't, rem I don't remember getting Animal Crossing because I started with New Leaf. And I don't remember actually getting that game from my DS at any point. So it was just kind of there. <laughs> uh, I'm also a big Sea of Thieves fan. I really love the lore in the game. I've been playing since launch, basically. Um, although I have been, like, kind of playing on and off. I also really enjoy Monster Hunter. Love me them monsters. Gonna slay them all. Um... Yes, I will also be playing a lot of VR games. Uh, I have a quest... Actually, I actually have the quest 1 still. I'm gonna upgrade soon. But uh, yeah, I have been playing VR for quite a bit. Uh, it's again been one of those on and off things, because I really want to get full body tracking if I want to do more VR stuff. Because... What weapon do you main in Monster Hunter? You're gonna hate me for this. Insect Glaive. I mean the insect leaf. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I also really like Deep Rock. It's a great co-op game to play with your friends. Come on, Rock and Stone, dude. D disgusting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like indie games like I had in time, like platformers as well. Really love those kind of story games. They're really cute. Um, I think that's it. Let's move on to music. I really like um, Mother Mother. It is a bit of an out there style. I prefer, with many of these, I prefer their older stuff more than their newest stuff. Like, I don't know. My music places, my, my music taste is kind of all over the place. But for the most part, when it's like, I mention someone, it's gonna be their older stuff that I like rather than their newer stuff. So for Mother Mother, it's it's really nice, their old stuff. I am also a big Porter Robinson fan. Again, prefer their older stuff to the newer. Because <laughs> um I don't know, it holds a special place in my heart. It's very comfy. Uh I'm also a big Royal Blood fan. You might not expect that. I like rock. <laughs> Like, straight up. Rock. Oh, thank you, Head Jams, for the sob. Uh, yeah. Infected Mushroom is also a little bit of a weird one. Because a lot of people see it as, like, psychedelic music, which it is, but, like, some of, especially their older music is, like, you know. It sounds kind of like video game music, and I really like that. Which goes on to my next thing. I really like comfy video game BGM, if you can't tell by the music playing right now. Big, big fan. Always thought of it as psych rock. I, I don't know. Steven Universe music. Yeah, I really like Steven Universe music. It's really comfy. Also holds a very special place in my heart. I actually really, really enjoy Steven Universe in general. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> you guys are gonna kill me. Thank you for the hype train, dude. What the fuck? Okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> Sorry, I'm breaking right now. I love the closing theme. Yeah, me too. Like the the original closing theme is one of my favorite songs to sing. Uh, on to the anime and TV. Oh my god! Thank you for the <laughs> my gifted subs. You guys, what the fuck? I mean, thank you, donate more, I, I mean, what? 
but like you know thank you very much i really appreciate it i'm not like totally really nervous right now i don't know what to say thank you <laughs> Uh, when it comes to anime and TV, uh, a, a lot of a lot of true crime. Also, the music is a bit loud here, and then love this music, but you gotta, gotta, gotta calm down. There we go. We're rich. <laughs> We're rich. We're rich. Oh fuck. Oops. Uh, yeah, I, I like a lot of true crime shows. If you can't tell, Lucifer. Blacklist is a true crime show. Uh, you kind of true crime. I also watch actual like. Well, I mean, I say true crime, but it's more like just crime, not true crime. True crime is actual crime, <laughs> which I also watch. I also watch actual like true crime documentaries. Big fan, big fan. Um, Danganronpa, just like Astarte. I love Dangan. Oh, fuck, I love Danganronpa. <laughs> Uh, I also really like Agretsuko because it's so cute and it's very relatable as a working woman. Might like the YouTube channel Scary Interesting? Don't worry, I have like five YouTube channels that I follow which all post true crime. Don't worry, I, I'm, I'm covered. I also just watch like the, the Discovery channel, like the investigation discovery stuff. Yeah. I think I'll keep that as my anime and TV stuff. I'll let you get one little peruse. Word with us will disappear on my recommendation despite me never subscribing. Damn. Oh, Iwu. Yeah, yeah. Same. Honestly. There are so many of them that I- I hate the auto-generated ones. Those are awful. Yeah, watch them. Alright, let's move on. Beautiful, I clicked on something. I'm sorry. Okay, moving on to my goals. Um, my goals are pretty simple because I don't like to set like really big goals for myself because I know they're unrealistic. So I'm keeping it simple by saying I want to make new friends. Our main reason by of joining Amberglow is because I really was looking for that community connection and just having friends. Um, I really want to share my appreciation for history. I think, especially nowadays, there's a lot we can still learn from how things were back then. People like to assume that um, things back then were worse than they are now, while in, in some cases there were things that were better in the past. And I think that we can still quite learn quite a lot from it. Uh, I want to collab a lot. This goes into making more friends. I want to have fun playing games with people and not be by myself every time, 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> I want to become the best sewing streamer. Yeah. This is going to be my niche because I'm special. But uh, yeah, for real. I want to <laughs> I want to do more sewing stuff and do it on stream because I've looked around and there's no people doing any sewing streams whatsoever and I really want to be the one to fill that void because I know there's going to be an interest for it and yeah I want to get more comfortable with singing this is a bit of a goal that I've been having for a while uh, I like to sing by myself for the most part it's a bit of a hobby thing but I want to I want to start singing more as in like on stage and with other people because i've been complimented on my singing quite a few times i think it's not a big deal but other people seem to think it is <laughs> at least for a, a little bit it, it might take me a while to do actual like singing singing streams but i i do want to Eventually. Slowly. Maybe I'll do like... Uh, karaoke with other people first. <laughs> Not by myself, that's way too much pressure. <laughs> Sewing is a great skill that's so undervalued in high consumption society. For real, let's not get into politics though a bit too much because I do feel like that gets a bit 
too much. Like, it is undervalued, yes. But let's not get into the nitty gritty of that. <laughs> A very, very undervalued. Anyway. Uh, let's go on to my tags. My Oshi mark uh, is going to be a hamster and a broom. I kind of wanted to do a sewing needle or anything sewing related, but most of those emotes don't really work. Uh, aside from on Discord, they don't work on Twitter. So I decided to just do broom and hamster instead to go more with like this, the, the witchy hamster theme. Now for the fan name, I've been thinking about it for a while, but... I think ever since I posted my, uh, like, promo video, or, no, wait, it's not in my, not in my promo video, it, yeah, actually it is in my promo video, but, like, on my pinned tweet, uh, I really want to call you guys listeners, because I think it's a really cute, um, nod back to, like, old radio, I call you guys listeners, I, I think it would be really cute and endearing, and I hope you guys like it too. So for my art tag, most of this has stayed the same. My art tag is putt paint. So that's go that's both for art that I make, but also fan art. So that's gonna be both. Feel free to peruse and make art, please. I love seeing fan art of any kind. Uh my main tag is Odizu Nuts. Actually, Rigel came up with that one, and actually it was Tizu Nuts at first, but then I was like, Pudizu Nuts is just too too great. <laughs> so I decided to keep that. It was too great. Um, and for my clips, it's gonna be Clipazoo. So if you have any clippable moments, you know, in any stream whatsoever, please use the tag. I love to see clips and I might... Uh, credit you if I happen to put them in like an edited thing. So yeah, those are my tags. My credits list is very short, as you can see, because a lot of the stuff I made myself. <laughs> but um, I'm going to credit my stinger. My stinger is made by James Chu. They really did an amazing job. I really love the little little hamster with. <laughs> With the fucking uh, hat and all the book stuff and the magic stuff. It's really cute. My logo is made by Orihime. Orihime has made um, logos before for, like, I think Niji Talents even. But yeah, they, they do an amazing job. I really like my logo now. Uh, my intro video is made by Klez. As I said before, Klez does again amazing work he's worked with uh hollow life talents before for music videos and stuff but he does amazing stuff uh and yeah my <laughs> my model's made by me don't want to don't need to credit that it's gonna be just here thank you i i did my best on my model it's uh it was actually done already in like january i worked really fast on my own model <laughs> it's been a while Anyway, um, on to my fellow gen mates. We have, uh, coming up after me, Carnelia. Carnelia is like, um, did you do all your own rigging and tracking? Yeah, I did all the rigging, everything by myself, even the AR kit tracking. Even though I might, if I'm honest, my air, <laughs> I'm not too happy with my air kit tracking, but that's me being lazy. The yeah, Cornelia is um, big mommy energy. Big, big mommy energy. Your face tracking is insanely good though. Ah, the eyes are fine. For me, it's the mouth, personally. <laughs> Cornelia got me with the hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cardelia has a... Stick my tongue out? No. Because I, I can do it doesn't mean I should, I mean.
Yeah. Uh, Astarte we've seen before. Astarte is very, very nice lady. She does AM ASMR stuff and is really, really amazing. She has a really amazing voice. Hey, chat, I saw. Uh, Soleil is very, very cute and a giant ball of energy is the best way I can describe her. But she also has a really nice voice and she can also play instruments. Really cool. Yeah, Asarte is probably my, my favorite in terms of model art. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, <laughs> no, you, you are cute. Filet, come on. We can't deny this right now. It's you. You're the cutest of them all. Come on. We also have Rabbit. And Rabbit is... Big Joker, Jokester Man. Shrink myself and put them next- Oh, I, I don't think that's possible, Riv. <laughs> the way I have it set up is- I can't do that. I wish I could. <laughs> uh, Rabbit is the guy that will make dad jokes all the time. Every opportunity he gets, he will put a really bad, bad joke in any conversation. So there's Mega Hyper Emoto Energy, and she hasn't even debuted it yet. I mean, yeah, kinda. <laughs> Cannot resist the jad jokes. Alright, uh... It's on to my schedule. There are two, I think, a few more things I have to show. Oh, uh, we'll start with my schedule. He thinks. I will pull up. Second. I bet it. Best hype man for a gen mates. I don't know about that, dude. I don't know about that. It quickly checking. Yeah, okay. Welcome to the the art art uh overlay. This is my schedule for next week. Uh, I won't be streaming a lot, mainly because I have a full-time job. I do work from home, which is comfy, but I do have a full-time job, which does take up a, a lot of time. So we're going to start out on Tuesday with a bit of uh, Q&A uh, &A and uh, playing some Animal Crossing. Stable job haver detected. Are these GMT? No, they are CEST, which is my own time zone. I'm not gonna convert my times. That's way too much effort for me. <laughs> I like all your overlays so much. I actually made a lot of them myself, but uh, a lot of them are also like some bot assets and some like assets I found online. Um, but yeah, uh, on Tuesday we will be having an Animal Crossing. We're gonna see and See if I want to reset my island or not. Because I'm kind of attached, but at the same time, I haven't been playing in forever. So, yeah, we're gonna see if that, that's gonna happen or not. <laughs> but also Q&A. Um, Thursday, we will be playing Potion Craft. I thought it'd be quite kind of fitting, considering I am a Hoichi. So, uh, Potion Craft is a really cute little minigame-esque thing where, you know, you make potions. Close the window? The window's closed, my dude. That RC car is really fucking loud. <laughs> I wish I could. That window is closed. Um, and on Saturday, we will be playing- oh no, playing. That's dumb. We will be doing some 3D modeling because I want to basically uh, get good at doing low poly models 
So we're probably going to be... My idea is we're going to be making some low poly stuff, which is going to be stuff that is in my room. So I'm going to be taking pictures of stuff in my room, and then we're going to make low poly models out of them. That's what it's going to be doing on Saturday. Uh, low poly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do low poly stuff. Because I, um, I really want to play Hytale, you know, that, that Minecraft clone. I really want to not play it, I want to be in their team. <laughs> I want to work for them. Which is not a joke. I actually do. Any 3D printable stuff? I mean, you could print it. I'm sure it's not that hard to just get the model and print it. As long as it's not, um, just a plane. That would be incredible if that can happen one day. Yeah, me too. I wish I could. Push and crash is a fun time. Okay. Um. Her models are 3D printable. That'll be my prerogative. Yep. All I have to do is make sure I can print them and then all good. Uh, there's one more thing I wanted to show, which is a little bit going back into the past and explaining my progression and how we got here because i did that uh my previous debut as well and i think it's nice to look back on what has been done before so the way i started 3d modeling was like i think 2018 2019 and it all started when i got into vr chat and when I got into VR chat, I really wanted to make my own model or have my own model, you know? So I started looking online, looking on uh, Twitter, anywhere, and seeing how much it would cost for me to commission something. And I saw like, it was 500 to like a thousand bucks for me to get a model. And I was like, not paying that much for a model so I said fuck it I had done like a year of 3d studies or like animation school where you also had 3d stuff um, and then you know I didn't finish my college degree we're not gonna talk about that that's fine but, <laughs> but yeah I made I made my own first model in VR chat by kit bashing a Futaba Sakura model. Yeah. So basically, I grabbed some stuff from free sites, like free clothing and stuff, and all I did was edit the textures. And that's how version 0 came to be. Now we have version 1. Version 1 came around. I think maybe half a month later and that's because I really wasn't liking uh, the restrictions I had from just doing kit bashing and I really wanted to make something from scratch because you know it'll it'll be fully my own I won't be getting into any trouble I think the other reason was because I was starting to stream with the kitbash model, and I didn't want to get any trouble from, you know, the Persona 5 people. <laughs> and from there, I watched some streams on other people doing 3D models. And from there, I learned how to basically use... <laughs> yeah, my version 1.5 was a bit taller. But yeah, from... from, from Watching literal YouTube, uh, Twitch streams, I learned how to make 3D models and use Blender. Mainly use Blender because I knew how to, I knew how to basically like model stuff, but it was in like 3ds Max, which is what my school used. But then I needed to to learn Blender, so that's how I learned. I I watched YouTube videos. I slowed them down and checked what kind of uh, keybinds they used. And that's how version 1 came to be. Which is a version I actually have printed out uh, as a 3D model. A resin 3D model downstairs. 
uh, in my living room. It's a little, little model. Uh, after a while, I, I think that's when I, after version one, I basically started doing 3D animations as well, because I, um, I figured out that workflow is kind of nice and it earns good money. <laughs> so from there, we got to version 1.5 because I got to a point where I was like, I can do better. You know, I, I've been, I've been working on it for a while. I've been making model models and actually like competent at it. I believe 1.5 still has the original body from the version 1, but I made a new face for it. Which I wanted to be a bit more... less mature, I think, and more... uh... 2D-ish. You know? Like, I think my main inspiration at that point was Genshin. Because I saw their side profile and I really preferred their side profile for, for modeling and stuff. Yeah. That's how version 1.5 came out. And 1.5 has been around for a while. It has some different outfits as well. Uh, after 1.5, I think in 2020, um, I started on the 2.0 model. Because at that point, I had already, like, done plenty of models and I was really unhappy with 1.5 and I just really wanted to make a new model also because at that time AR kit tracking which is iPhone tracking got really really popular so I, I really wanted to try my hand at that as well so I had bought a secondhand iPhone that I'm still using today and using that secondhand iPhone I made the AR kit uh, blend shapes for 2.0 model. Um, also because I really wanted to offer in my commissions, I really wanted to offer the option for people to get AR kit tracking with me. It's a lot easier for the modeler themselves to make it rather than giving it to someone else and doing it for them because usually it's an upcharge. So yeah. Um, and after 2.0, I've had the 2.0 model for about a year now. And now we're here in, I think, December. I started thinking about making a new model. Uh, slowly but surely. I was, I was first going to actually source out my art. I was just going to get someone else to do the art for the reference. But then I said, fuck it, I'm gonna do it myself, because the sketch I was making for the hypothetical artist that was gonna get it was already looking so good that I just wanted to continue and make it myself. <laughs> but yeah. So basically, that is my, my model journey. You have uh, some few more questions we have about... Five to ten minutes left, so we're gonna just be answering a bit some questions. But he's exactly the same mass between 1.5 and 2.0, it just all went hurt to her legs. Very true, very true. But my legs were really thick at 2.0. <laughs> Put his backstory summary, fuck it, I'll do it myself, literally though. A majority of the things I've wanted to do is... If I if no one's gonna do it for me, if it's too expensive, I'll just do it myself. <laughs> Will you stream commissions? No, I don't do commissions anymore, sadly, because of my new full-time job. Um basically I do 3D modeling for my full-time job, so if I do commissions again, I think it'll be a breach of contract. Uh so <laughs> I mean I, I can make 3D models and stuff, but I just can't do commissions. Um Amber Glow Gen 3 figurines are a work in progress for now. Yeah, I do plan on actually... Uh, probably, I'm probably going to be the one doing the models for all of Gen 3 when that comes about. So, be excited for that. Maybe. Awesome that you could model for a job. <laughs> Taken out of context, it sounds like I'm like a supermodel. 
hand cam sewing. Hand cam sewing will be in the future. I'm still setting up some stuff. You'll need to work out the angles and stuff. Make sure I'm not showing my face by accident. Uh, and also work out the sound thing because sewing machine can be quite like uh, loud sometimes. Supermodel Hamter? Only in my 3D model. <laughs> I ain't no supermodel in real life. Second coolest person looks like I finally found number one. Damn, thanks. When's the runway stream? Whenever I get my, my 3D trackers. Should be on the way, actually. I'm getting um, Slime VR. Let me actually move to here. There you go. Something of. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's still on. Oops. Let me delete that shit. I don't need that anymore. Okay. While I'm here, I can show you something else. I actually have an indoor version of my, my background. Oop. Now I'm inside. I'm not outside anymore and cold. Ta -da. <laughs> yeah, this uh this awesome overlay is made by Nora S. Pot, I believe. They have a booth and they have awesome uh animated backgrounds and stuff with a lot of extra stuff. Like I have a uh, I have some like stuff I could put on the table. My goodness. TikTok? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. No, I did not paint this myself. I wish I wish I did. This um, this is really an amazing overlay. I've put it actually in my Twitch uh, credits. For those who want to check out this amazing artist that did this background, sure do, because they are great. Alright, um I think it's time to check if Cornelia is actually live already. But and keep answering questions, of course. Finally, she's safe from the outside world. Real, to be honest. Going outside? That's not my style. Oh, she is already live. Okay, we're gonna be raiding Cornelia. Uh, the Q and A will be continuing on the next stream. Any of the curious cat questions will be answered there. So we are gonna raid Cornelia. Grab, grab the name. There. All right. Raid. I don't actually have a rating message, so just like cheer Carnelian on or something. <laughs> I don't like to do rating messages, I think they're kind of cringe. Yeah. Thank you all for hanging out, really seriously. Like, all of you, thank you so much for showing up. I did not expect this many people to be here. And especially all the, the gifted subs and the subs in general and the follows. Thank you all, everyone. Really, really appreciate it. I know I'm a bit awkward, but I'll get over it. It's been a while. <laughs> Alright. Go cheer Keneally on. She deserves every single bit of it. So, go do that. Cheer her on for me, please. And keep looking respectfully. Don't look at her boobs. Look respectfully. Thank you. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.